Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to fix this issue where uh, we wanted to have four columns here, and you can see we do, but we did it sort of a, a cheating way. We changed this column count directly just to the number four, and we didn't want to do this because there's other places that use column count, and we want to be able to do this the right way, so we're going to be doing this through the layout files. So as you can see, I've uncommented that line where it says this get column count and now if we go to our page, we should be back at three columns. Okay. Well, what we need to do is we need to find the right layout file for this. And that layout file is located in app and then front end. And it's in the base default and then layout. And the layout file we want is catalog.xml. So let's grab cold option and drag this down. Fit over. Okay. And we're going to drop this into my layout folder for my theme. So just to flip over to sublime text to make sure it's in there. And we have catalog.xml. So what you want to search for is you want to search for the word set column count. So we're going to say set column. Okay, cool. So we have this set column count, and you can see it has the number four. It's an action, and it's this whole block. Method, set column count, columns four. That's the action. Um, this is inside of, um, right now it's in the product upsell block. So this is saying the upsell block has a columns of four products, which is cool, but that's just for the upsells. So we want to have this also for the list and the product listing and any of that stuff. So Let's check this out. And we want to search for, I'm going to do command F, and we want to search for product underscore list. And uh, I don't want product list related. I just want product underscore list. So I'm also going to put a quote here. And you can see it's taking me to this. And the ones we want to find are the category default layout, uh, also known as cat catalog category default and we also want to find it in catalog category layered and we're going to be looking down here and we want to find this catalog product list block and we're going to enter here right underneath where it says catalog slash product list for the type and name is just flat out product list and we're going to paste this line in here set column count to four Oh, it's great. It's giving me a thing about purchasing Sublime Text. Uh, I, For the record, I have purchased Sublime Text. Uh, I have a catastrophic issue with my computer, and some of my licenses have been a bit funky ever since then. Uh, I, maybe I just haven't re-put in my license for this. So, um, okay, enough of that. Uh, I want to search again for product list because there's another one. So, okay, these two. And down here, this is category or catalog category layered. And same thing, we want to put this right in here. Beautiful, beautiful. And make sure you put it inside of this block here or else you're not going to have it work. And it should be good. So let's come back to our page and let's refresh. See what happened. We now have four columns again. We did not have to modify that code. And let's really quick fix this clear fix. I know I broke this last time by adding uh, on our list PHTML. I added uh, a, a columns 12 to this UL, and I realized we really don't need it. So let's go ahead and get rid of it. Save it. Let's come back. Refresh. OK, everything's clear fixing now. And everything's still responsive. Beautiful. Cool. So this is how we set the column count using a layout file and inside of catalog.xml. So that is therefore setting the column count. Then this is getting this column count and setting it equal to this column count variable that this uh, loop is then using to iterate through our products. Well, that's pretty cool. We can now change how many products are per line in our site, and it's going to be, you know, totally flexible. It's exactly how we want it. I mean, if we wanted five products, we wanted 10 products in the list, whatever we wanted, 
we can have that just by changing that column count. So that's perfect. All right, well, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions, leave a comment in the video below. Hit us up at Twitter, Level Up Tuts. Let us know what you're thinking as always. Thanks for watching. Bye.